Okay. <laughs> it's better. That's happy. It's better. It's happy. Yeah. Why not? Okay. You're rolling. All right. Hello. And welcome to this pre-recorded edition. Because we're not live now. This is a poem by Robert Browning called The Bishop Orders His Tomb at St. Brexit's Church. Vanity, says the preacher, vanity. Draw round my bed as Anselm keeping back. Nephews, sons mine, ah, God, I know not. Well, she, men, would have to be your mother ones. Old Gandalf envied me, so fair she was. What's done is done, and she is dead beside. Dead long ago, and I am bishop since. And as she died, so must we die ourselves. And thence he may perceive the world's a dream. Life, and how and what is it? As here I lie, in the state chamber, dying by degrees. Hours and long hours in the dead night, I ask, do I live? Am I dead? Peace, peace seems all. St. Praxis ever was the church for peace, and so about this tomb of mine. I fought with tooth and nail to save my niche, you know, old Gandalf cozened me, despite my care. Shrewd was that snatch from out the corner south. He graced his carrion with, God curse the same. Yet still my niche is not so cramped, but thence one sees the pulpit, oh, the epistle side, and somewhat of the choir, those silent seats, and up in the airy dome we're alive, the angels and the sunbeams, sure to lurk, and I shall fill my slab of basalt there, and neath my tabernacle take my rest, and with those nine columns round me, two and two, the odd one at my feet where Anselm stands, peach blossom marble all the rare, the ripe, as fresh poured red wine of a mighty pulse, old Gandalf with his paltry onion stone. Put me where I may look at him, true peach, rosy and flawless, how I earn the prize. Draw close that conflagration of my church. What then? So much was saved if aught were missed. My sons, ye would not be my death. Go dig the white grape vineyard where the oil press stood. Drop water gently till the surface sink. And if ye find, ah God, I know not, I, bedded in store of rotten fig, leaves soft, and corded up in a tight olive frail. Some lump, ah God, of apis lazuli, big as a Jew's head cut off at the nape. Blue as a vein o'er the Madonna's breast. Sons all I have bequeathed to you. Villas all. That brave Frascati villa with its bath. So let the blue lump poise between my knees. Like God the Father's globe on both his hands. Ye worship in the Jesu Christ so gay. For Gandalf shall not choose but see and burst. Swift as a weaver's shuttle fleet our years. Man goeth to the grave, and where is he? Did I save a salt for my slab, sons? Black, twas ever antique black I meant. How else shall ye contrast my frieze to come beneath? The base relief in bronze ye promised me. Those pans and nymphs ye wot of, and perchance some tripod, thrices with a vase or so, the Savior at his Sermon on the Mount, Saint Praxed in glory in one pan, ready to twitch the nymph's last garment off, and Moses with the tables. But I know, ye mark me not. What do they whisper thee? Child of my bowels, Anselm, ah, ye hope to reveal down my Villas while I gasp, bricked o'er with beggar's moldy travertine, 
which Gandalf from his tomb top chuckles at. Nay, boys, ye love me. All of Jasper, then. Tis Jasper ye stand pledged to, lest I grieve. My bath must needs be left behind, alas. One block pure green as a pistachio nut. There's plenty Jasper somewhere in the world. And have I not St. Praxed's ear to pray? Horses for ye, and brown Greek manuscripts, and mistresses with great smooth marbly limbs. That's if ye can carve my epitaph aright. Choice Latin, picked phrase, tallies every word. No gaudy wear like Gandalf's second line. Tully, my masters, opium serves his need. And then how shall I lie through centuries and hear the blessed mutter of the mass and see God made and eaten all day long and feel the steady candle flame and taste good strong, thick, stupefying incense smoke for as I lie here, hours of the dead night, dying in state by such slow degrees, I fold my arms as if they clasped a crook, and stretch my feet forth straight stone can point, and let the bedcloths for a mortcloth drop into great laps and folds of sculptor's work, and as yon tapers dwindle, and strange thoughts grow with a certain humming, in my ears, and the life before I lived this life, and this life too, popes, cardinals, and priests, St. Praxin, at his Sermon on the Mount, your tall pale mother with her talking eyes, and new-found agate, urns as fresh as day, and marbles language, Latin pure discreet. Ah, Elizabeth Bat, quoth our friend, no, Tully, said I, Alpian at the best. Evil and brief hath been my pilgrimage, all epis, all sons, else I give the Pope. My villas, will ye ever eat my heart? Ever your eyes as were as a lizard's quick, they glitter like your mother's for my soul. Or ye would heighten my impoverished freeze, piece out its starved design and fill my vase with grapes and add a visor and a term, and to the tripod ye would tie a lynx, that in his struggle throws the thrices down to comfort me on my entablature, whereon I am to lie till I must ask, do I live, am I dead? There, leave me there, for ye have stabbed me with ingratitude to death, ye wish it. God, ye wish it, stone, grit stone, a crumble, clammy squares which sweat, as if the corpse they keep were oozing through, and no more lapis to delight the world. Well, go, I bless ye, fear tapers there, but in a row, and going, turn your backs. I, like departing altar ministrants, and leave me in my church, the church for peace, that I may watch it at leisure if he leers. Old Gandalf at me from his onion stone, as he still envied me, so fair she was.